Welcome to WP Mat. In this video, you are going to learn the first stage of using WP Social plugin. It's the most flexible and advanced social media plugin for WordPress. It offers you social login, social share, and social counter. I don't want to hold you up anymore, let's get into it. In order to get the plugin in your dashboard, log into your WordPress. After that, navigate to plugins, then install plugins. Now from the search bar, search WP Social, space, social login, and register. Then you'll find the WP Social login by WP Matt. Install the plugin, then active the plugin. After the successful plugin installation, now you are ready to use it. In your WordPress sidebar, you'll find the WP Login menu. They will have WP Login, WP Share, and WP Counter. Let's start with WP Login. If you go here, they will find three tabs. The first one is Global Settings, the second one is Providers, and the third one is the Style Settings. Under the Global Settings, you'll find different type of feature or different type of fields where you want to add the WP Login plugin. From here, I'll use this feature for WP Login page. So I'll enable Show button to WP Login page, this one. After that, you'll have four options. Like the first one is WP Login from the middle, from the head, from the footer, and the master section. I want to use it from the footer. After that, go to bottom. Now click Save Changes. Now go to Providers, and they will have different types of social media to integrate with the login system. From here, I'll use GitHub. Scroll down and click Get it Started. After that, you'll find a simple Get it Started text and also a documentation link how you can get the necessary credential for the login system. Go to the documentation, go through and follow the entire documentation to know how you can collect the necessary credential for the login system. Now go back to your dashboard, then go to Settings, and there you have to put your app ID and app secret. I'll use my app ID which I have collected from my GitHub. Then I'll put my app secret or client secret that I have also collected from the GitHub. Now enable it and save it. So this is all about the settings you need to know in order to start with social login. Now let's log out from here. And in the bottom, you'll find the button to log in with a GitHub account. Click here. After that, it will ask you for the authorization. It might take a bit of moment to redirect you to the page. And there you have the login dashboard. Now in this part of the video, I want to talk about how you can use the social media share feature. Go to WP Social, this time Social Share. After that, in the bottom, you have the shortcut options to use. Now if you go to Providers, from here I'll enable Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. I'll go to LinkedIn, enable it. If you want, you can change the text below the number or you can also change the label name. I'll save it, then I'll go to Twitter, enable, saves and continue this process. Alright, now if you go to Style tab, they will find more than 40 different types of button style including the fixed style. Alright, now if you go to share settings once again, now you have to use any of the shortcut you want. I'll use the first one, so I'll copy it. Now go to your articles. Click edit. Now you have to use the shortcut using the shortcut widget. I will use the shortcut offered by WordPress. Search shortcut and paste your shortcut here. Now click update. Now click view post. Now if you scroll down, there you have Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn social share button. Now at the end of this video, I want to talk about the social counter. But in social counter, you can use the cache hours. By default, it will comes with 12 hours, but you can make it five or six hours, whatever you want. After that, if you go to providers, they will have around nine different types of social media. Then go to style, they will also have run 20 different types of social counter buttons. And the using guideline process is completely same as the social share. So this is all about the settings you need to know in order to work with the WP Social plugin. Thank you for watching this video.